So we're really excited to be introducing the all new Nokia 9 PureView. This is the world's first five camera array smartphone. So we have five 12 megapixel cameras that work simultaneously. So every time we take a picture, all five cameras shoot at once. And then we fuse that image together into one incredible photo. There are a few key advantages of this setup. It gives us great dynamic range, beautiful texture and detail, even in areas of shadow and bright sunlight. We have incredible depth of field, so a full 12 megapixel depth map. So we know the position of all the different elements within the shot, and we allow you even to adjust and edit the focus after the shot in Google Photos. And finally, with the Nokia 9 PureView, you can shoot in raw DNG format. So raw format means you keep all of the lovely data captured by those five cameras. And with our partnership with Adobe Lightroom, you can edit that raw file right there directly on the Nokia 9 PureView. The reason the Nokia 210 is so significant is it's our most affordable internet product in the portfolio. So we're bringing access to the internet, the ability to access all that information and opportunity, but also take pictures and post it to your favorite social networks like Facebook at an incredible global average retail price of just 35 US dollars. So we're introducing two new value tier smartphones, the Nokia 3.2 and the Nokia 4.2. Both of these smartphones feature a dedicated Google Assistant button. It's the fastest way to your Google Assistant and we use it in conjunction with biometric face unlock technology. So it means you can get to your Google Assistant and all of your information faster than ever. This is for us a perfect opportunity to differentiate ourselves because we have a unique take on our new Nokia Android smartphones. We start with an experience that is pure and we keep it fresh over time. So consumers not just get a new phone the moment they buy it, but we keep their phone fresh and actually offer them an experience that keeps getting better over time. So that's our unique angle. And then of course we are also bringing new innovation. The 2019 smartphone market is going to be marked by many big uh, changes coming in. We have Samsung's new foldable phone launching in April. We have the first 5G phones coming in uh, as well. We have all sorts of new gimmicky phones coming out. Uh, I think it was a uh, Meizu in China released a phone that didn't have any external ports. It was completely in in encased. Um, so you have a lot of these very different approaches and how to grab people's attentions in smartphones. So it's going to be very, very difficult for Nokia, uh, for HMD to really grab that uh, consumer's attentions. And so it's really going to be reliable on that legacy Nokia brand, the value and love that people have for that brand to get people's attention. The new phones that HMD are producing for Nokia, they're very, very impressive. Um, they very much focus on the low end of the market, you know, sub $200. And they are very, very competitive phones and very capable phones for those price points. So I expect they will sell very well. However, the big you know, kind of story from the announcements has to be the flagship phone, the PureView 9. Um, and that is a very impressive p uh, piece of photography kit. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it and try it out. <laughs> Yep. I don't really consider uh, HMD Nokia to be competing with Apple or Samsung really directly. They're competing much more with Huawei, with Xiaomi, with those brands in emerging markets for those you know, 100, 200, $300 price points in around that tier. Because Apple doesn't play there, Samsung is pulling away from that, from those price points as well. 
Um, and, in those and in those battles, it can do very, very well, because as I said, it has a very well-trusted brand name behind it, which is going to make it, it makes its life a lot easier in terms of trying to resurrect its, uh, that phone business. I need to stress is that that upgrade process and that software upgrade process that HMD do and provide that is something that is pretty much unheard of on Android and fragmentation of the Android operating system is a big 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 issue uh, for Google and it offers a very big differentiator for HMD for the Nokia devices The consumer can buy it with you know, that extra degree of surety that it's going to be good for three years.